Toyota's recent efforts at dominating the car industry have been quite prosperous for the company. They've already kickstarted a whole market and industry branch with their hydrogen cell-powered cars, which are becoming increasingly popular by the day. However, Toyota has also started developing a new way of using hydrogen in vehicles, and that's by making an internal combustion engine that uses hydrogen as fuel. How does this engine work, and what's the main motive for Toyota to make it? Is it better than what Tesla currently has? Before we get into this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Join us as we take a look at Toyota's all-new hydrogen engine that shocked the entire car industry. Toyota has been a key player in electrifying vehicles, and they've been the leader when it comes to innovating the whole car industry. The Toyota Prius is the best-selling hybrid of all time, and it was the car that actually kick-started the whole electrified vehicle craze, which in turn led to the accelerated development and rise of customer interest for fully electric vehicles. 3 in 1.14 a hat, however, decided in the past that they'll stick to their hybrid and traditional vehicles for as long as they can. In fact, Toyota had only recently entered the EV's segment with this Toyota BZ4N, and the CEO of Toyota Akio Toyota even said that. He doesn't truly believe that the EV's segment will beat out hybrids at traditional internal combustion engines anytime soon. Anyhow, Toyota has been developing its own alternative to EVs, and that's fuel cell electric vehicle, or, as they're popularly known, hydrogen cell-powered cars. The primary benefit of FCEVs is the fact that they'll be using the most abundant element in the entire universe, which is hydrogen. Also, fuel cell electric vehicles don't pollute as much EVs during their production process, as the batteries used in hydrogen cell-powered cars are much weaker and require less lithium than typical EVs. On the other hand, they don't pollute while being used as IC engines do, as they are in essence in EVs. The original Toyota Mirai has been considered a technological marvel when it came out back in 2014, and even though it wasn't planned to be produced at huge numbers as it was technically an exclusive for the Japanese market in California, it was so popular that Toyota spawned a second generation in 2020 that has also been released worldwide. In fact, the ex-Top Gear presenter James May even owns one. Apart from Toyota, many other companies have been starting making FCEVs like the Honda Clarity and Hyundai Nixo. Also, many other automotive giants like for example Volkswagen, BMW and Mercedes announced that they too plan to produce their own hydrogen cell-powered cars. However, Toyota had recently started developing a technology that could use hydrogen in more efficient ways as a recent ventures into converting internal combustion engines into using hydrogen as its propellant turned quite fruitful for the company. Toyota have recently converted their beloved 1.6 turbocharged three-cylinder engine that has been found in the Toyota Corolla GR, the ART and the Toyota Yaris GR into using hydrogen instead of typical fossil fuels. And not only that, but they've also started a joint venture with Yamaha to produce a hydrogen-powered 5.0-liter V8. But how does an internal combustion engine that runs on hydrogen actually function? Well, you'd be surprised to find out that the engine functions rather traditionally. In fact, it's quite similar to the vehicles that run on compressed natural gas instead of petrol. A huge tank that is much thicker than your typical fuel tank holds the hydrogen in place. Hydrogen is a highly flammable gas, and a de facto armored tank is definitely needed so that the hydrogen doesn't escape. The engine requires hardened valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, fuel injections that are designed for a gas instead of a liquid, and a bunch of other improvements in general strengthening of the engine's components so that it can withstand a higher overall pressure in the cylinder. The overall usage of hydrogen actually nearly identical to the usage of standard fossil fuels. However, there are no CO2 emissions compared to them. Another plus for hydrogen engines is that their engines produce similar amounts of horsepower like their more traditional counterparts. Also, the refueling time is extremely low compared to EVs, as it only takes 1.5 minutes for the new Yaris GRH2 to be filled to the brim. So, overall, these vehicles could actually be the way of the future. And if you ask us, we definitely see them becoming more popular in the upcoming years. So would you buy a car that has an IC engine powered by hydrogen? And what car manufacturer would you like to see making them? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. But how would these cars exactly make EVs and FCEVs go extinct? Well, first of all, these cars are way more practical than EVs and FCEVs as they have higher range and are much faster to refuel. The other benefit is a fact that they're actually completely mechanical, which means that it could be repaired and not simply discarded. Also, a major plus is the fact that these vehicles don't need unrenewable resources to run, unlike fossil fuel cars, or to be manufactured, 
which makes the whole production and usage both much more green and completely sustainable. Also, let's not forget the part that refueling these vehicles could actually become really cheap. One sweater conquers the technology of processing hydrogen. The driving experience is almost completely identical to a traditional vehicle, which includes one of the key things that petrol heads love about IC engines. Imagine what a 5.0 V8 would sound like. We just can't wait for the fruits of the collaboration between Toyota and Yamaha, as their upcoming engine is said to produce around 450 horsepower, and it will rev up to 68 RPM. It's going to be a real symphony, and judging by their current collaboration track record, it's also going to be a fantastic engine overall. I mean the legendary 2JZ was co-developed by Yamaha, and so was the fabulous V10 down in the Lexus LFA. So it seems that the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine could be an answer to all our prayers. Could it? Well before we go ahead and write off EVs and traditional vehicles completely, there are a few things that need to be noted and a couple of problems concerning hydrogen as a propellant. First of all, Toyota isn't the first car to actually make a hydrogen-powered IC engine. No, these vehicles were actually made in the past and the most successful one prior Toyota was actually BMW back in 2002 with the BMW 750HL. Then later in 2005, they introduced the Hydrogen 7. Both of these cars were flooded with numerous problems that are still found in hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles. The first of all is that hydrogen is extremely flammable and even explosive in some cases, which would make it a huge safety hazard. Also, it's extremely hard to process, and even harder to store. And even though the CO2 emissions don't exist, the high combustion temperatures emit huge amounts of nitrous oxide, which is also a pollutant. This can be reduced by doubling the amount of air needed for a complete combustion, which then makes the car significantly weaker than its petrol-powered counterpart. This means that the engines need to be huge in order to make sufficient amounts of horsepower, which would effectively mean a thirstier engine. And currently the highly complicated way of processing and storing hydrogen makes it more expensive than petrol and diesel, and the current tech also makes these cars way less economical. Finally, the production process is at least one and a half times more expensive than making a traditional IC engine, due to the fact that the hydrogen engine needs to be much more durable. Currently, the best use of hydrogen internal combustion engines is actually using it in a hybrid, as it noticeably reduces nitrous oxide emissions and increases the fuel economy, at least until the technology gets more advanced. So as much as we'd like to see cars such as Toyota Yaris GRH2 flood the market as soon as possible, it's not really going to happen anytime soon due to technology restrictions. However, we do believe that the further development of this idea could turn very profitable for Toyota in the long run. And we do believe that the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines will become a viable option in the future. So, what kind of technology do you want to see in the next video? Let me comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay well. Goodbye.